Jennifer's relationship with her ex-husband lasted about seven years, most of which was spent married. Due to financial difficulties, the couple lived in a house with her parents and sister. The woman was burdened by this. Because of such cohabitation there were quarrels. But the husband on the proposals to move out reacted reluctantly. When they began to live separately, Jennifer hoped that the accumulated problems will be solved. However, instead of this partner decided to confess something to her. Apparently, he was tired of carrying the burden of guilt and wanted to get rid of this load, Jennifer says. One day he confessed that he occasionally used my sister's and mother's dirty laundry to satisfy himself. Not once, but often, over a period of two years, maybe more. He was careful not to give an exact answer. When I began to ask if he had had such a fetish before, he said not in this particular form. But once, he had smelled the underwear of a woman from whom he rented an apartment as a student, and, out of curiosity, his mother's underwear. But he started actively satisfying himself with my sister's underwear. And rarely, apparently for some variety, my mother's. It all sounded quite shocking and disgusting to me. And to this day, I'm still not entirely sure if he wasn't sexually attracted to them. Jennifer says she suggested her husband go to a psychologist, but he refused because he understands everything about himself. He promised it wouldn't happen again. Jennifer did not hide the fact that the power of such self-control did not believe. The trust in the relationship eroded. It scared me how distorted everything appeared to be in our relationship. But what was also frightening was that after the confession, it was as if he felt no guilt, Jennifer explains. He didn't even seem sorry. He said he was willing to talk as long as he needed to. But in those conversations, he wasn't looking for a solution, he was just giving details I didn't want to hear. At the same time his attitude was, you can either try to accept it or you can't. I felt abandoned. All of this drove me to emotional exhaustion. It was hard to live through all of these conflicting feelings. I was crying all the time. Yet he, despite everything, always seemed to feel better after these confessions. And, apparently, he enjoyed this feeling of liberation so much that he started telling his mutual friends about his peculiarity. I was shocked and asked him to stop doing that I was already having a hard time, and this made it even harder. The image of the husband, she knew, was gradually crumbling for Christina. She began to avoid friends who found out about everything and common meetings with her family. Apparently, then, his shame and guilt was somehow transferred to me. It was difficult to be together with them. The picture of my ex-husband holding my sister's or mother's underwear to my nose and lips and bringing himself to the peak of pleasure appeared in front of my eyes. In the end, I couldn't accept it. Of course, it was his actions and attitude that had more of an impact. Because all of our conversations, my requests, my tears came down to only one thing. I won't do anything of what you ask. It's not going to help. You only have the option of accepting it or not. And I offered to file for divorce, which I have never regretted only that I didn't leave immediately.